Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, it's time for me to make up another big batch of deodorant and I thought it was time to shoot an update video. Now my recipe hasn't changed from my original video, but how I mix it up and how much I make at a time has changed and I want to show you what I do and for those new to my channel, this may be the first time seeing how I make my homemade deodorant. So I'm going to show you the whole process. Super easy. You only really need two ingredients, three if you want. So let's get started. Now, what I have here is a batch of deodorant that I made. This one's for me. I just made this one up a little bit ago, and now I'm going to get started on Mr. Rain's. And this is how I store it. Uh, it is in a mason jar like this. And what I have here is two cups of because I'm making a quart jar at a time, I have two cups of baking soda. And then I'll be following it up with two cups of the tapioca flour. You can also use arrowroot powder. Both of them are the same to me when it comes to cooking and using a deodorant and anything else. Uh, just whichever one you can get uh, for the best price. I will link to both of these below and you can uh, judge by that and see which one you want to go with. They're both organic and I find them pretty equal. I've used them in making gravies and all kinds of things. I say start with your baking powder or baking soda, I mean, and put it in a measuring cup like this and then break it up. Make sure you break it up with your hands or with a fork like that. Then I'm going to take that and dump it into my half gallon mason jar. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take two cups of the tapioca starch again, or you can use the arrowroot powder. And of course, I knew I couldn't do this without making a big old mess. And then pouring that in there, you may even want to use, so it doesn't make as much of a mess, use something to kind of lift it out of there so you don't pour it all over your counter. Now, if you're sensitive to baking soda or just have really sensitive skin, I recommend instead of doing a one-to-one -one ratio like I have here, you know, uh, two cups baking soda, two cups tapioca starch, then what I recommend is doing one part baking soda to three parts tapioca starch uh, or arrowroot powder because sometimes people have issues with the baking soda being kind of burning. So you may even want to start your first batch, make a small batch, start it with that and see what you think uh, doing the three parts to one part with the smaller part being the baking soda. Then, again, this one's going to be a matter of choice. Using some essential oils just to add a nice little smell. You don't need to. That's just totally up to you. For mine, I like to use a blend of orange and clove oils in here. And then, and this is why I'm making two separate batches. For Mr. Rain, I use patchouli and cedarwood. And for this much... I'm actually going to use probably two capfuls in this whole thing of each of these. If you're using the clove, be very careful how much you use because it can also burn. So if you have sensitive skin, I say start with just a few drops at a time. And it's also, of course, going to depend on how much you're, you're making. You know, I'm making four, I've got four cups total of the deodorant here. so it's pretty safe for me to do this much. If I'm doing half that much, I only use one cap full of each. Now, one thing that's a little bit new is that usually what I was doing was making up, uh, when I did the video, I was only making one little tiny jar at a time, this size. Then I started making a quart size jar at a time of just plain with no essential oils so that when either Mr. Rain and I or I uh, ran out, then I would just pour the blend into the jar and then add the essential oils. Now what I'm doing is making us each our own quart jar with the essential oils already added and that makes my life even more simple. And then, once you got it in your mason jar, just shake it really good. And just keep shaking it until you know it's really well blended in there, especially those essential oils. And if you want, you can even take um, a chopstick or some other type of long uh, tool and stick it down in there and just kind of blend it 
the powders will blend together very well simply by shaking, but you might want to do this just to check to make sure that your essential oils are getting blended really well in the heat. Um, typically, I just do this and don't have any issues. This has been the easiest thing to do than just mixing it in a bowl. And then you've got your funnel on there, your canning funnel. And then carefully pull it in and expect to have that big old cloud. And if it seems really full, just shake it and it'll pack down. But it should fill it up just right quart jar so whoop. so now I have Mr. Rains right there and then all I have to do and I made sure I grabbed one uh, a lid that still had some permanent ink on it as I always reuse these lids now one of my followers said that you know hot water and soap will get permanent ink off it does work really well on the first one or two times that you do it but the more you use your lids the harder, like this one, this one's actually pretty smooth. I had to look to find one that still had ink on it. Um, but I use them, I reuse them so often that after a while, uh, the, the permanent ink does not come off easily just with soap and water. So then what I do is just spray a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there and take a clean dry cloth. And usually I'll spread it around with my finger. Take a clean dry cloth and then wipe it off. And there you go. And so then now I just have to write Patrick's deodorant on there so I'll know which one is which. Okay, one of the things that I didn't think to cover in my last video about the deodorant is how to apply it. Now, when I, these are the jars we keep ours in and then um, we just keep ours in different places so I don't have to bother putting our names on it. I keep mine in a drawer and he keeps his somewhere else in the bathroom. And then um, for him, he just takes a pinch and just rubs it under his armpits but for you ladies you may find it easiest to get like a, a dedicated makeup brush I mean one that's dedicated to this not one that you use for putting on your face powder or whatever and this is what I do I just dip it into the deodorant powder and then just brush it on and now some some other options you can use oh I, I said it in the last video but I never do this I did when I first started making deodorant I used to use this recipe but I don't do it anymore um, you can use coconut oil, make it more like a paste that you'd rub on, or even you can put it in a stick form. You can get like stick, uh, empty deodorant sticks and then make your own and fill them. Um, and I can't remember the ratio of coconut oil. I will try to look that up and make sure I post it right here in a text so you can see what that is. But that makes a good deodorant too. The problem I have with that is so much coconut oil is you're going to possibly end up with stains on your shirts if you do that because of, of the oil. But coconut oil is one that tends to soak into the skin pretty well. So for me, I just like the powder. It's easiest to use. Plus I have the, the um, multi-purpose use of using it also as a foot powder uh, just to keep your feet dry and uh, you know, if your feet sweat a lot or whatever it is, or you're, or maybe you're one that deals with a uh, athlete's foot, you know, this is a good choice to keep your, your feet dry and the baking soda in there is going to help kill the fungus that causes that. So you can just sprinkle a little bit into your socks or whatever. It's just, you know, and then with the essential oil, it just makes it smell nice too. So that you have that benefit too and then before I close up this video because that was pretty quick and pretty easy I wanted to mention again about how orange and clove are my, my favorite scent uh, when it comes to this it's also what I use as a perfume so this bottle here was just an empty essential oil bottle is probably either orange or clove and then I just make my blend and put it in here and uh, I just dab a little bit here and there and that's just, you know, it, that, this is my perfume replacement. I don't, and I'll probably do a separate video on that, but I don't wear perfumes anymore. I haven't in years because uh, any store-bought perfume you get is just going to be really toxic. But you can make your own essential oil blends to, you know, your favorite scents. Just keep in mind you may want to, I use mine straight or neat as they call it. Um, if, especially with the clove oil, if you have sensitive skin, you're probably going to want to put it in a carrier oil. But I'll go over some other options in another video of 
perfume. So anyway, this also blends well with my deodorant powder. I really like the patchouli and cedar wood together for just, to me it just has a nice rugged manly kind of smell and so that's my favorite blend when it comes to him. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching, take care, and God bless.